終わらせてやるやこんばんは、みなさん、クロネコです。Finally, Tolito has her new auto job. Yeah, but before that, when they released this new Mementos for her, y o u t h o u g h and Clarice, she wasn't really that powerful and super outdated. But right now, with the skill changes and the status increase, she has become a decent attacker, especially against magic attacker. Yeah, due to the resistance and so. But if against physical attacker, she might get kills quite easily. Yeah, since her defense wasn't that high. And for the rune set bonus, I suggest you guys equip with all status resistant up. Yeah, or maybe increase her master HP plus resistant up. And for this rune, increase her physical attack. And for this one, increase her M attack and guards, or maybe maximum jewel. Up to you. And then for this slot, I suggest you increase her slash resistance, or strike resistance, or even shooting resistance, then magic resistance. Yeah, since her magic resistance is super high, I think total up is about near 100. Yeah, almost reduce all damage to 1 for magic attack. And for this one, either increase her magic defense or luck. The rest is up to you. Try to increase poison resistance. Since you need to maintain her low HP in order to have the hidden buff. And for the pride rune, I almost fully max, as you can see. And then try to increase her HP and maybe attack power, accuracy, resistance, poison resistance, and any resistance you like. And for the additional status up, try to increase her attack power or maybe maximum HP and then dex or luck. And then for the second one, increase her resistance or attack. Yeah, up to you. And for the Phantom Barbary, I equipping her with this set bonus, Magic Resistance up. Or uh, you can also increase her other resistance. Or uh, maybe such attack. Yeah, up to you. And next is about her other status. Heal power and accuracy, okay. And then such attack, resistance. And then her Magic Resistance is super high. Especially with the hidden passive. And then light attack. Swamp vs. Sadak. Elemental resistance. Yeah, not so high. Blind attack status. And then other status resistance. Yeah. You can further increase the status resistance by equipping one of the accessories that increase our resistance up. Yeah. And then debuff reduction. Next is about her ability set. And I think this will be the best for her, by default. And I will only go through about the skill changes after the other job. Please beware. For this special ability, there is one new skill added. There's a property of reduce all damage when her HP is below 80%. Yeah, this is quite good, especially against physical attacker. And this skill added extra, debuff immune for one turn before the enemy's attack. Yeah, this is not so bad, but it only applies magic damage. Physical damage will not activate, so beware. And for this support ability, it used to be only increase her physical and magic attack. Yeah, that's all. But right now, as you can see, two new added passive. For this one, when her HP is below 80%, it will increase her magic resistance. Very good. And along with the other status. And if her HP is below 50%, it will further increase her attack power. And also reduce HP cost by 100%. Because one of her skills require her HP in order to use. Yeah. And for the other support ability, this one, also very good, but there isn't any changes. And for the alternate choice, maybe this one. That's center simul, but then optional. Or maybe this one because magic attack. But then, as I said earlier, this tool is the best. Next is about her main ability skill changes. And for this first skill, it's very good. Especially it will conceal her HP. So that it will be very easily to fulfill the passive requirement. Below 80% or 50%. Yeah, but then, 
one bad thing about this skill is you need to have your allies besides her. Otherwise, this skill cannot be used at all. Please take note. And during auto, if your ally HP is low, sometimes she might be using this skill. And for the main changes for this skill, instead of slash attack up for one turn, it become until she uses two attacks. Yeah, quite good. And also increase the skill radius for this HP recover and HP regen. Next is about this skill. It reduces the enemy or attack, light resistance, death resistance, and can be stacked for two times for three turns. Very good. Much more better. Yeah, this is very good for all types of content, but this skill is not 100% hit. So it is not so suitable against evasion unit, so beware. And next is about this skill, it really become very powerful, especially in not defend, elemental resistance, and position damage reduction nullified. Yeah, so basically, even if the enemy has reduction, if you are closer to them, or further than them, it doesn't matter. And no trade. But then, one bad thing about this skill, it is not 100% hit. Yeah, so as I said, not so suitable against evasion unit. And lastly, it's about this skill. Also not bad. At the extra, interrupt the enemy cast time, and can be down, and cast time increase for 3 turns. Yeah, so this is very good against a magic attacker, but for some reason, they didn't change this. It will also target your allies. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, since this debuff everything, it's not very good against your ally. Yeah, very simple. Next is about her new ability from Laser Level 20. And it will ignore the enemy shield plus destroy their shield at the same time. Quite good. And also with silence healing disable status. And if her HP is below 80%, this skill will activate. And she will drain the enemy jewel. And also ignore the elemental resistance. Yeah, quite good. And both of this skill power is depending on the enemy current jewel. The higher the enemy current jewel is, the higher the damage is. Yeah, so this skill is very good for those enemy who has max jewel from the start. Like for example, most of the magic attacker. Next is about this mementos. Die die must get. Otherwise, don't even bother to unlock her other job. Why I say it's a must? Because of visual ability. It will permanently increase her maximum HP. And it will not recover for the maximum HP buff. Which means, from the start of the map, her current HP will be less than 80%. So that some of her buff will activate from the start. And second thing is, all magic shield reduction up to 10k. Yeah, this is very good, especially she will recover back during her next turn. Yeah, and there isn't any limit. Yeah, so even if the enemy managed to destroy the shield, it is okay. But it doesn't apply to other type, like for example, slash type or even shooting type. And of course, if the enemy is using physical attack, it will be useless. So beware. And then for the good skill, also very good because of all defense and debuff turn. Yeah, this too. And for the other mementos, you can equip with her own mementos. But then, these two mementos don't have any leader skill. So if you guys want to use mementos leader skill, just equip with anything you like. With these mementos and you are done. Otherwise, with the mono light team, with other light unit leader skill. Yeah, since her leader skill is quite pathetic. Yeah, very weak. And next is about this accessory, which is from her new Mementos Vision Girl Award. And then it greatly increased her attack power a lot. Jump plus one, flash attack. And then for the vulnerability, increase her elemental resistance, debuff turn plus one, until she receives any three attacks, not attack hits. And along with the mementos, total up will be debuff term plus 2. Yeah, so that her debuff will become 5 turns. Yeah, but even without this vulnerability, it is 4 turns. 
not really that bad. And just in case, if you don't have her new limited mementos, you can equip with this weapon. You can get from Phantom the Kill. It increases both attack or anything that increases attack power. And for the other gear slot, you can equip with this old accessory from her old mementos. It is very good because of vulnerability. Yeah, jewel regen and more magic resistance and more attack power when her HP is below 80%. So I think this two will be the best for her. But for this gear slot, it's up to you. But right now I equip her with this armor from Lakina Mementos because of Ration Block. And along with this weapon ability, which increase elemental resistance plus speed up for 3 turns from the start. Not really that bad. Or you can equip with this armor from the Phantom of the Kill, which greatly increase her defense and also counter attack resistance. Which is also quite good. Or uh, any accessory that increase her resistance for 3 turns from the start. Yeah, very good for Arena as usual. Or uh, maybe this accessory from Gear Summon because of Grokka status on herself and any ally. Otherwise equipped with this accessory, I think from one of the exchange shop, it will increase our status resistance. Yeah. So this will be the end of the information. And like I said earlier, Dai Dai must get that new Mementos for her. No choice. All damage will easily kill her one shot from the start. Since her HP is max. It's not even less than 80%. And second thing is, Utter Token is very expensive. Right now, they sell at 2,500 gem. Or maybe from Beta Tower Coin Shop and sometimes from the login bonus and so. Yeah, so please use the other token at other creator, especially Zaha or Kurore or maybe Beta Templar. Yeah, those creators are much more worth the price. Unless you have the mementos, as I said earlier. Yeah. And for the next part of the video, I will only show skill animation and description without Arena. Thank you for watching this video. See ya, Sanara. この力を。私のこの力を。すまねえな。私。